Hey YouTube, in previous videos I've spoken about diffraction gratings and the interference of multiple sources of light. In this video I'm going to show how I was able to chart the interference of two sources of sound. My setup uses a signal generator to drive two speakers. The sound from these two speakers is picked up by a microphone and then amplified using a circuit. The microphone itself is mounted on the x-axis of an x-y plotter. The y-axis is the amplitude of the sound and drives the pen up and down. As I manually drive the x-axis, the microphone is swept through a line in space. The pen then records the intensity of the sound at each point along the line. The resulting plot shows that there are areas of both high and low intensity due to the interference of sound from both sources. By measuring the geometry of the original setup, and the distance between the peaks on the chart, it is possible to determine the frequency of the sound source using math no more complicated than the Pythagorean theorem. In the case of the central peak, the path length from each speaker is identical. This means that the same number of wavelengths occur, leading to constructive interference. If the path lengths were different, the two waves would cancel out, leading to destructive interference. Knowing that the speakers were 730 millimeters from the microphone plane, and the center peak is displaced 100 millimeters from each speaker, we can calculate that the path length for both speakers is about 737 millimeters. For the first off-center peak, the two path lengths are different, but the sound waves are still in phase. This means that the path length from one speaker is longer than the path length from the other by exactly one wavelength. By measuring the displacement from the center peak, we can calculate the path lengths from both speakers and subtract the shorter from the longer. Then we find that the wavelength is approximately 20 millimeters. By dividing the speed of sound in air by the wavelength, we find that the frequency is almost 17 kilohertz. The dial on my signal generator was set to 15 kilohertz, which makes my calculation only 11% off, most likely due to errors in measurement and slop in my XY plotter. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.